It was a solemn start to parliamentary proceedings with the chief minister delivering the first address. An attack on British democracy, he said, is an attack on our parliament. And an attack on Britain is an attack on us. And we in this parliament will want to stand shoulder to shoulder with our parliamentary colleagues at Westminster in the Commons and the Lords. We express our solidarity with all MPs and all those who work in the parliament in London. In particular, we express our condolences to all those who lost loved ones in this attack. Four innocent dead in the heart of Whitehall is an atrocious tally of evil that all in this house will want to roundly condemn. Specific mention must be made of the loss of life of police officer PC Keith Palmer. On days like last Wednesday, we are reminded that we are indebted to all police officers for the dangerous and often thankless work that they do to keep us safe. The death of a police officer in these circumstances serves only to emphasize the risks that they take every day. It is also worth noting the heroic efforts to revive PC Palmer, a former Gibraltar ADC, Tobias Elwood, now a minister in the Foreign Office. Opposition leader Daniel Featham echoed the Chief Minister's sentiments, offering the opposition's condolences to the victims. Uh, the four uh, individuals that um, unfortunately, tragically lost their lives in this uh, uh, terrorist attack, Aisha Freyd, a mother of two, Kurt uh, Cochrane, a US tourist, Leslie Rhodes, uh, from South London, and of course, as the Honourable the Chief Minister has pointed out, Police Constable Keith uh, Palmer. All of them, Mr Speaker, left their homes and their families that morning, expecting to return to their homes and their families later on that day, and unfortunately did not do so. And on behalf of Her Majesty's Opposition, I wish to extend my condolences to the families of the victims. We must not blame race or religion or immigration or revile an entire culture because of the actions of one. Violence and hate cannot be allowed to divide people and to make us cast doubts and suspicions over others. To do so would be to threaten the values that many have died protecting and the unity of our condemnation must be matched by the unity in our humanity. The Chief Minister called for a one minute silence to be observed. There was a second minute silence as the House paid tribute to former member Maurice Chivedas, who died earlier in the month. Fabian Picardo recorded Parliament's thanks for his work and contribution to it, while Danny Featham, who stood for election with him in 2003, described him as a father and mentor. The Speaker, Adolfo Ganeba, who was his colleague as a teacher and who'd enjoyed many a sunny day on the cricket pitch with Maurice, gave his own advice and appeared moved as he did. Politics never divided us. We could rise above that, something that I would comment to all. It's terribly important that we should all realize that there are much more important matters in life that bind us together than political differences. I join myself, my staff as well, in, uh, with the sentiments that have been uh, expressed. It was a, a terrible shock. Only last January, Morris was sitting pretty well where Joe Caruana is now it was the last time we saw him in the house today's morning session which continued with questions showed it's not all about politics and if it is it's certainly not all about brexit